14th, 2020, we are asking Spirit for a card of the day, a focus of intention. And today's card of the day is going to be coming from the Shaman's Oracle deck. And just like that, we got a card. And the Shaman's Oracle deck is created by John Matthews and Will Kingen. It's a beautiful deck. I haven't used this in a long time. Let me grab this card that's blue. And it's called Hunter of Abundance. I love this. I haven't used this deck in a while. I have this wicker, beautiful container. And the last time I counted the decks, I have over 40 different decks. Many of them were gifted to me. Some I picked out on my own, but that was years ago. I mean like 15 plus years ago. I've been doing this work since I was 14 years old. And I've been doing it for over 30 something years. So that should tell you how old I am. <laughs> Um, so we're going to be looking to the hunter of abundance and I like this card, the hunter of abundance. Um, abundance could not just mean money. It could be abundance of joy, love, peace, intuition, prosperity, success, abundance, sex, health, vitality, anything you could think of. You can have abundance in any area of your life. And I spoke about this yesterday on my, um, my Instagram page. The hunters, okay? I am the hunter of abundance. Wherever I go, I forage for the richest store of good things, the utmost bounty that will encourage stability, strength, growth, and comfort within you. When I find these things, I bring them home to bestow upon you who have asked me to seek them out. My presence on your journey represents a fulfillment of purpose, an overflowing of fruitfulness and riches of your spirit, your heart, and your mind. I like that. Combines all three. And again, this is not a reading. So I just want to make that clear. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. This is just the intention for the next 24 hours. The hunter of abundance. Abundance means wealth in all forms. Confirmation, we just said that. The ability to provide for family, tribe, or nation could come at a high price. But when the rewards are reaped, we rejoice. For our ancestors, it meant access to food, shelter, and warmth. Yet encounters with the hunter of abundance teach us that today abundance is not only sufficient provision for those in our care, but also another kind of plenty, that of creativity and mo emotional stability and a profound sense of spirit and love for all. It also means taking only enough for our needs, only what we need, not what we want. And what do I tell you guys all the time? For those who have been following me on Instagram for years, what have I always told you? It's actually on my website. What you want is human, but what you need is divine. We only take enough for our needs rather than overconsumption. And yes, we have seen capitalism and especially in the United States. I can speak about the United States of America because that's where I live. And that has happened everywhere and every place that I've turned around. Capitalism is everywhere. So interpretations for this card. Plenty, certainty, love, well-being, creative motivations, strength of purpose, discovering hidden talents, resourcefulness, sharing, and spiritual sufficiency. So the spirits, ha the ancestors basically, the ancestors are masters or our masters, our teachers and loved ones are saying, not only do we have to hunt for our abundance, but we have to continue to be consistent with that. Abundance will come to you. But the hunter, the hunter of abundance saying, we also only need to take what we actually need, not what we want. I keep feeling that the more we say we want, we actually do not need. And it's time to start shifting our view like, oh, I want this and I want that. I understand that you may want things and I'm not saying that wanting things is a bad thing but ask spirit to give you what it is you need because when you get what you need you always end up getting what you desired what you wanted and what you actually envisioned in a better timing in a better understanding and a better let's say location because maybe you weren't really ready to get what you needed maybe you really weren't ready to get what it is you desired and wanted and envisioned in the first place and I'm not saying you don't deserve the things that you want. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. But I am saying there's a season for everything. There's a time and a place for all. And maybe what you wanted, you weren't really ready to receive it. Because I know I want a lot of things. But I know if I get a certain amount of things right now, I might not know how to act. And I'm playing myself like Boo Boo the Fool. And I'm not going to play myself because if I play myself and get things I really don't need in my life right now, all it's going to do is delay me back and hold me back because I'll stay in the egocentric mind instead of balancing out my egocentric spiritual 
and analytical mind all in one. And that's what this, exactly what it says. It says, my presence on your journey represents a fulfillment of purpose and overflowing of fruitfulness and riches of spirit, heart, and mind. Your divine self. Your heart is your emotions and your mind is your brain. Do you see what I'm saying? There has to be a flow and a balance for each of these things. And sometimes we're overbalanced and sometimes we're underbalanced and that's okay too. But as long as we stay consistent with our spiritual and energetic health, which is the one, two combo, pray, meditate, pray, meditate, prayer, meditation, and following your intuition. Or you, if you follow a scientific or philosophical route, conversation, contemplation, integration, you should be able to receive the abundance of what it is that you need. But remember, abundance means wealth in all forms. So again, I hope this helped. I hope this put these, some things in perspective. Again, the hunter of abundance is stepping forth. Again, the interpretations, plenty, certainty, love, well-being, creative motivation, strength of purpose, discovering your hidden talents, resourcefulness, sharing, sharing and spiritual sufficiency. If you guys resonate with any of my work and you'd like to work with me, or purchase one of my webinars, listen to my podcast, you can go ahead to the website, www.thealmightypineapple.com. We, me, me, spirit, and my family, some of my family members, we create and curate over 250 items on my online botanica as well. We have several smudges and protection jewelry, amulets, bath products, skin products, all that jazz. If you guys resonate with me in any way, shape, or form, please follow that intuition when working with any spiritual advisor. Even that means you do not F with me because I'm not for everybody and everybody's not for me. And I understand that and that's okay too because your intuition will guide you to who, what, when, where, and how to work with those spiritual advisor and practitioners. For legality's sake, this video content is trademark, copyrighted, and registered with the United States government. Any duplication of this video and content without my permission is subject to legal recourse as guided by my legal team. Thank you very much, and you have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow.